I mean, the core of the attack is this, the fall. What was it really about? About people becoming their own God. Which, by the way, sounds really great. Something about our sinful fallen nature really likes it. Wouldn't you like to be God? All powerful, people serving you, you deciding whatever you want to do, no one telling you what to do. Like, even as they say those things, it hits me that many of the messages in our society are built around, however noble they are, this independent streak we have, also has this underlying, I want to be in charge. I want to be God thought. I mean, think about it. Be your, uh, be your own business leader. You don't have to listen to anybody else. Follow your dreams. Change the world. It's your body. It's your choice. Like all these things, as noble as they are, have this underpinning of you can be your own God. And Adam and Eve took of the fruit. And by the way, Eve took first. I've heard guys blame Eve and women over the years foolishly. She was deceived and she took it. It says clearly she took it and she said, it's going to be okay. Adam, when he took it, she handed it to him. He says, I know this is wrong and I don't care. And yeah, which one's worse? By the way, God blames Adam, not Eve, for humanity. What was the consequence of this? Romans chapter 5, verse 12. Romans 5, 12 says this. There's a whole section comparing Adam's failure to Christ's victory. Romans 5, 12 says, Therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world, and death through sin, and thus death spread, death spread to all men, because all sinned. Because Adam and Eve sinned, they died spiritually in that moment. And they would die physically someday. Every funeral we've ever had is because of this moment. Well, guess what? That death spread. You inherited the sinful nature, the flawed nature to become your own God. Why? Because you want your own form of pleasure. Why? Because you doubt God's word. We reenact the fall and we sin because of it.